batch of Clinton emails out this morning is raising questions about a donor to the Clinton Foundation and how he ended up on a government intelligence advisory board. ABC's Brian Ross is here with more on that story. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, Amy. The newly released State Department emails being made public here this morning reveal how Under Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, a major donor to the Clinton Foundation, was put on a sensitive government security advisory board, even though he had no known experience in the area. Members of the State Department's International Security Advisory Board include some of the country's most prominent figures on American nuclear strategy, all with top-secret clearances. But in 2011, the Clinton State Department also added this man, Rajiv Fernando, a wealthy Chicago commodities broker with no known connection to the national security world. I'd like to invite to the stage Raj Fernando. What he was known for before and after his appointment was raising and giving hundreds of thousands of dollars to Democratic campaigns and as much as $250,000 to the Clinton Foundation. ABC News, you have just a second to talk here. When we approached Fernando at the 2012 Democratic Convention... How did you get appointed to that board? Can you talk about that? How did you know my name, out of curiosity? He became upset, and we were threatened with arrest. Yeah, this is me. I think the property will be arrested. I'll be arrested for, me for asking questions of this man? But now the new set of State Department emails, obtained after a lawsuit brought by Citizens United, reveals the role of Clinton Chief of Staff Cheryl Mills in appointing the big donor, with a senior career official using the shorthand S, a common reference to Secretary Clinton. The true answer is simply that S staff, Cheryl Mills, added him. Raj was not on the list sent to S. He was added at their insistence. I don't know who will be giving money. At her confirmation hearing, Clinton vowed foundation donors would not receive special treatment. That will not influence, it will not be in the atmosphere. The new Clinton emails also show that when ABC began asking questions about the appointment of Fernando in 2011, top Clinton aide Cheryl Mills asked the press officer to stall for 24 hours. The very next day, Fernando submitted his resignation from the prestigious board. The Clinton campaign declined to comment on our story, and the State Department said it's not unusual for the Secretary's Chief of Staff to play a role. As for Fernando, he has continued to raise big dollars for the Clinton campaign and has given more than a million dollars to the Clinton Foundation. In fact, he'll be one of her superdelegates at next month's convention, Amy. And Brian, this morning there is another new report about Hillary's emails on the front page of the Wall Street Journal, linking them to some potentially sensitive messages about drone strikes overseas. That's right. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that the ongoing FBI investigation is focusing on these messages sent by American diplomats in Pakistan about pending drone attacks, which ended up on her personal email server. But the journal also says the messages were vaguely worded and did not use the terms CIA or drone. ABC News has not been able to independently confirm the journal's report, Amy.